So about two months ago I decided to move from Unreal Engine to Unity. I created a video about the situation. If you are interested in more details on why I switched game engines, I recommend checking out that video, but after you watch this one of course. Now if you are new to the channel, first of all, hello. I am an indie soul game developer currently working on Tranquil Waters, a casual exploring game set in the 17th century with pirates. So without further ado, let's actually get started. So one thing that my newly created project cannot live without is, of course, player movement. So that is what I started on immediately. In the background, you can see me working on the basics of basic for 3D movement. But I do have plans for the future to have crouch, sprinting and much more. But since we're only focused on transferring what I already created so far, Simple 3D movement and jump will do for now. I even had problems with this since the last time I officially worked on a Unity game with 3D movement was over two years ago. So I just used the simple old technique of finding code online, copying that and would you look at that, it magically works. But let's actually get into something more interesting, interactions. Now the actual creation of interactions isn't really that interesting because the backend of interactions was actually created in Unreal Engine and I just had to rewrite a code from C++ to C Sharp. But I can show you the final result. As you can see I have this very ugly circular slide slider that updates as long as I hold the E button. I also have a temporary class that can hold certain parameters, such as interactive time, which is set to one second. Now inventory on the other side was a different story. So I decided to program my own inventory system, just like I did for Unreal Engine. And I actually got a question asked before in one of my live streams. Why do you just not use assets? Why reinvent the wheel? And I always say, you know, I love to program and, you know, I love to face challenges. And it's true, right? I, from very young age, I always loved to program, but I swear to God, sometimes I regret my decisions. I just could not get the inventory system working if it was the last thing I did with life. I actually had to push back the deadline for this video one week just to get the inventory sorted. It was mainly issues with the dragging functionality and when it sometimes goes behind the slot, sometimes it doesn't, and so, so much more. But I, you know, I did get it working eventually, somehow, somewhat. Now for anyone who is already typing in the comments that the UI is horrible, I know, I know. Do not worry, I will come back to UI and everything I do here in the future videos to improve. Now I think we've come to the part of the video where I can say if you like this video so far and want to see me suffer more with game development, make sure to subscribe. And also potentially move the cursor more to the right and like the video as well. Because it honestly does help, especially with my more boost. So let's just continue with the video. The next thing on the list I implemented was low poly water and actually thanks to a YouTube video I found from a YouTube channel called Flareon, a huge thanks man you earned yourself a subscriber, it was pretty straightforward and the final result was actually really good, but there was a problem I stumbled upon. As you can see there are some kind of black spots in the water, I did manage to resolve the problem, or actually it wasn't really me, it was a kind person over on Unity's official Discord server who knows way more about shaders than me. But in the end, it was a way simpler solution than I thought. In the graph settings, you simply set the depth right to force enabled. Now what this does, I don't know if I'm be honest, but it works and that's what matters. The final thing for today will be the ship controls. Now, thankfully, the model package I purchased also works with Unity, so there wasn't really many issues with importing the packages. 
After programming another kind of interactable where I don't have to hold the E button, I started working on actually moving the input from the player movement to the ship movement. So the user can control the ship and not the player itself, depending on if we're interacting with the ship wheel. Again, <laughs> there was a lot of copying code from Unreal Engine and converting from C++ to C Sharp but we did get some sort of result in the end and okay now that was maybe too fast and also no gravity but don't worry about that after some testing i also got turning finished and what in the hell is even going on anymore uh you know what i think uh i think this will do i think this is as best as we can get it and also there's another thing I didn't manage to implement the buoyancy effect on the ship and that's because to implement that I need vertices information from the mesh or like the waves but they don't update after the shader runs so there's no easy way to access them so I will leave that problem for a future video most likely even the next one there's also one more thing that is missing which is the actual landscape you know I did have plans to implement that, but because of the problems with the inventory, I had to scrap scrap this idea for today's video, but it will be happening, of course. And this is actually all I wanted to show you guys. If you came this far, thank you so much. Again, make sure to subscribe and like if you want. And comment down below what kind of features you want to see implemented. If you are new to the channel, I have also an entire play catered to this game so far. So if you want to see that, I will leave it down below in the description. Thank you so much and see you next time.